Uh, okay, so Aryan, you are uh, applying for BHEL engineer training. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, so introduce yourself. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Aryan Tomar. I belong to Eta Uttar Pradesh. Uh, I have done my schooling here and then I did my BTEC from JSS Academy of Technical Education, Noida in 2022. In there, I was among the top three students in my electrical engineering batch. All, along with that, I was also the part of the co-curricular team, which was the departmental team of our electrical uh, domain. Also, ma'am, my final year project was on the electrical vehicle wireless charging. Other than that, ma'am, I have also done an internship at UPPCL. And thank you, ma'am. My... Okay. Uh, what What about your industrial training at uh, UPPCL? Uh, what What did you do over there? Uh, my ma'am, uh, over uh, in the uh, UPPCL training, the main part, the main thing that I learned there was how the transmission system works, transmission and the distribution system. Mainly, I was, uh, I I did my training at the distribution uh, distribution part. So how the power is being transmitted from uh, 33 or 11 kV to households. These were the, uh, and how all those transformer and those system works. Along with that, how the uh, electricity is being uh, transferred, how the con uh, electricity connection is given to particular households, how the meter metering system works, how energy is being calculated. These were all the insights that I got from the internship. Okay. And uh, why do you want to Go in for BHEL? Uh, ma'am, uh, working in PSU has always been my dream, ma'am. And uh, BHEL is uh, BHEL is very reputed organization. Uh, also, ma'am, the kind of various projects that BHEL is working, like in the power sector and uh, in the defense sector, in aer aerospace sector, ma'am, these all sectors contribute directly to the growth of nation, ma'am. So, ma'am, I think I can be the I can be part of such great programs, and it can help me boost my career. So, I want to join the bail, ma'am. Uh, okay. So, since you mentioned some sectors here, can you name five equipment or uh, like products which the uh, which BHEL manufactures? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, Bhel is mainly manu manufacturing the heavy. Uh, Bhel is mainly manufacturing the heavy equipment, heavy electrical equipment. Uh, for example, ma'am, in the defense sector, the uh, upgraded version of weapons is something Bhel is manufacturing. Uh, ma'am, in uh, in the nuclear power plants, the boiler, the turbines, and the reactors, which are used on the large scale, is something that Bhel is manufacturing. And also, ma'am, uh, in the uh, transportation sector, ma'am, uh, recently, Bhel has uh, uh, supplied the electrical buses model to Delhi and other go uh, other government uh, state government also. Uh, ma'am, am I uh, audible, ma'am? Yes, yes, you're audible. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, other than that, ma'am, Bhel has also constructed the, uh, also got the project of creating 80 Vande Bharat trains. And other than that, ma'am, uh, Bhel has also... Uh, uh, 80 Vande Bharat trains was the last project that Bhel got. Other than that, ma'am, from 2019, Bhel has been also working in creating uh, the lithium ion plant, uh, which can uh, drive the electrical vehicle, which can drive the uh, electrical vehicle in the future uh, future time. Okay, okay. So if you talked about 80 Vande Bharat trains. So what is yeah. uh, the contribution of BHEL in that? Uh, ma'am, uh, uh, in 2022, yes, ma'am. Uh, in 2022, there was this bidding uh, done in uh, in the government organizations who will bid at the sec uh, lowest price. So, Bhel got the or order. Uh, uh, Bhel bid at the second lowest price and got the order of creating the uh, whole model for Bande Bharat train in the minimum amount of 120 uh, CR per train, ma'am. Okay. Uh, how do you think you are suitable for this job? Uh, ma'am, uh, even though ma'am, I am a fresher, but ma'am, I am uh, quite competitive in nature, ma'am, and uh, my passion to learn and drive is something that I think, ma'am, I can contribute more uh, to the organization. Also, ma'am, my academic reports, academic supports that I have been very hardworking there. So, ma'am, uh, 
also the other than that ma'am i have been a part of co curriculars and i have also organized my i have also been the team uh, member of the cultural fest that was organized in my college so ma'am overall these things shows that i am eligible for being the part of pale organization as an engineer trainee yeah. okay so uh, is there any contribution of bhel in chandrayaan 3 uh, ma'am in chandrayaan 3 yeah uh, ma'am uh, ma'am i am not aware of that but ma'am i can make a guess ma'am the main uh, body of the materials that were being used in uh, all almost all the 55% of the heavy heavy equipment that are used in the country are of bhel so ma'am i can guess that bhel somehow would have made the contribution in the chandrayaan as well yeah can you tell me some competitors of bhel ma'am mostly the competitors of bhel are like private competitors like uh, adani reliance and uh, uh, other uh, big other big organizations that are working in the private sector like sun uh, sun farm uh, no some not sun pharma uh, but the organizations like uh, reliance adani and uh, jin uh, steel uh, jindal steel and all such organizations which are uh, also in the manufacturing sector uh, of development okay so what is the role of electrical engineer in bhel ma'am the kind of uh, equipments that are being produced that requires kind of uh, that requires uh, the contribution from all the engineering domains like mechanical electrical as well as the other like do the machine parts which we are developing all those uh, the basics of those machines are derived from the electrical engineering ma'am so i think there is a, this contribution of electrical engineer uh, to develop all such parts uh, can you elaborate basics of Uh, those like uh, ma'am for example yes ma'am ma'am for example if we are creating a boiler or we are creating a turbine then how turbine works that uh, that is uh, based on the principle of uh, that is based on something we learned in the electrical engineering for example ma'am uh, when a turbine is created uh, uh, we have to keep in mind the uh, electric uh, we have to keep in mind how height how much weight it should have so that Uh, what kind of torque to weight ratio what what kind of uh, um i must say uh, other than torque to weight ratio like what, what kind of principles are used for example uh, is this based on the uh, thermal uh, process or it is based on uh, electrical uh, electromagnetic induction these all things rely on the electrical engineering yeah. Okay, so what is special? What is uh, special about BHL? What special uh, product they make which nobody else makes in India? Ma'am, special product. Ma'am, mostly all those uh, special product. Ma'am, like like the, on the large sector, Bhel is only company which is manufacturing turbines and boiler on such a large scale. Ma'am, no other uh, company in the country is manufacturing all those things. Okay, so uh, Arjun, you were very close to the answer. That is uh, particularly nuclear steam turbines. Nobody else is manufacturing, whether uh, large or small. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, in the nuclear sector, earlier you had mentioned already that they are working in the nuclear. You yes. have studied about the products of BHL, what they are doing, and all that. You know that, okay. But yes, uh, uh, in between, I think some some way you are faltering. You are trying to remember things and then faltering. Otherwise, you know very well. Uh, your knowledge yes. is very good. but you need to like put it in the right way okay yes, that knowledge you have to put it in the right way um uh, because uh, uh, you uh, you had already mentioned that uh, about the nuclear uh, sector no all the uh, yeah, yes ma'am stages uh, uh, bhl is uh, contributing there and uh, and then uh, about uh, the role of uh, electrical engineer which i asked you okay yes ma'am <clears throat> so you could have mentioned some things like uh, power di designing of the power distribution troubleshooting obviously you in your whatever you meant was 
like maintaining of the equipment only basically the electrical uh, yeah, yes, sure. but you can yeah maintenance you can use what the maintenance word you should use the troubleshooting word you should use and even uh, in the because uh, transformers and all also are also there so new technologies can be used efficiently there okay and yes, the, like electrical engineers can also uh, help in the r and d also Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you can mention these things when you are saying where um, electrical engineers uh, make their contributions. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And one more thing. Yes, I asked you how do you think you're suitable. Your starting was good. Okay, but then you don't have to mention all. You every time you mention also, also, also. Okay, so don't right. use that okay. word too much. Okay, uh, you can say that you are capable and you are learning. Uh, although you are you, uh, although you are a fresher, but even then, you want to learn. You could have used your internship here because you okay. have done your internship also in transformers and all. No. Yes, ma'am. Distribution system you have done, na? Or is me yes, distribution me hi apka ha. Ma'am, yes. but that that was very very basic that I learned from like in my B Tech first year. So can I mention that thing here? Okay, that was basic. Uh, no, it was one month training. Actually, yes, ma'am, it was one month training. But uh, the kind of knowledge that uh, we require in the like designing of all such equipments is not was not something no, that no, I I'm not there. saying designing. You can say just I got an exposure uh, of uh, the yes, transmission distribution system. During my one month, mention that one month training. Uh, yes, okay, yes, mention it as one month training. And if they ask you something uh, deeply, you can say, sir, it was just one month training. I just got an exposure. Jo bhi aapko mila, utta knowledge to aapko hona chahiye na. You can revise those uh, things. Yes, no? yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. So, wo cheez yes, aap kar sakte ho. So, uh, uh, you can. Obviously, technically, you are qualified. Or ye sari aapne apni capabilities boli hai. Technically, jo aapne bola hai, that you are... Um, uh, um, uh, whatever your academic provided you um, uh, good this thing uh, for yes. working okay you, you that was a good line which you used but uh, with that you can use this also because it was in the distribution system only and here distribution system is so uh, it is just that you got an exposure for that no yes, you fine. can use you cannot don't use that you have uh, you can say I've got an exposure to how the actual distribution system is there by uh, in UPP because everybody knows when you go for training nobody will tell you to work over there now you are just yes, shown how things are being being done so everybody knows that ki one month ki training mein aapko karwate nahi hai aapko sirf batate hain ki ye ye cheeze hui hain ye aise jata hai ye aise jata hai aapko practically dikhate hain ki kaise cheeze ja rahi hain theek hai na yes ma'am fine so that you can use and uh, okay uh, i think rest just in in your um, like uh, explanation of your uh, this thing also uh, try to avoid this word also you can just like if you've completed a sentence you can start the next sentence okay ma okay you can say during my btech you i did this 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 mm. then i also did this 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 that is okay but if you're and one more thing is that i did my you can simply start i did my btech project in this this is you do not have okay. to say also I did my video. When one one once you have already used also, don't use it uh, time and again. Okay, okay, okay. ma'am. Ma'am, in introduction part, is there something I I can add or like remove the portion that is? Uh, I think it was okay. Like you mentioned, just from where you are, you have done your schooling also from there. Although that can be mentioned or not be mentioned, it is okay. Uh, then uh, during this, okay. But you, when you mentioned that you were part of cultural during your yes, B-Tech. Yes, ma'am. So what cultural and sports or something extracurricular, what were you part of? In organizing or doing or what? Ma'am, I was the technical head of the electrical dep electrical departmental team, which was uh, like performing the electrical events in the college. Okay. Okay, then... Ma no, yes, no, man. you you were uh, just part of uh, you were coordinating or you were some head or something or just part. Of I was you. technical head and I was also coordinating okay. in the arrangement of the events. Okay, so you can say you were the technical head of the uh, instead of saying that you participated in extracurricular and all that, yes, because that is a very general term. So nobody, yes. you, you can say you were the technical head of of what. 
मैम इट वॉज अ सोसाइटी इन द कॉलेज मैम कॉल्ड इलेक्ट ऊर्जा मैम दैट वॉज हाउ वी प्रोनाउंस मैम सो हाउ मैम इट वॉज अ नेम ऑफ दैट टेक्निकल सोसाइटी विच वॉज टेल मी वॉट इज द नेम मैम ऊर्जा डब्ल्यू आर जे ऊर्जा ओके so the you right can say i was the technical head of the electrical society urja at that um, at my institute theek hai okay ma'am okay fine so you can yes, say and uh, so i so i organized i, I helped in organizing or uh, uh, i led my two team to organize uh, various events related to it. okay ma'am okay so yes that can be done okay that two lines instead of just saying yes, that you were to do the extra curricular and all okay ओके मैम मैम एंड इंटरेस्ट मैम जैसे हॉबीज एंड इंटरेस्ट को भी इंट्रोडक्शन में ऐड करना नहीं, है नहीं, वो ऑल दो आपकी हो गई है ना काफी इंट्रोडक्शन और बाद में आपने नहीं मैम एक्चुअली इससे पहले मेरा एक इंट्रोडक्शन और हुआ था सुब्या मैम के साथ मैम ये उसके बाद फिर मैम ये मेरा दूसरा इंटरेक्शन है एक्चुअली मैम मैं एच के लिए प्रिपेयर कर रहा हूँ और साथ में मेरा ये एग्जाम पहले पड़ गया उससे इसका इंटरव्यू तो इसलिए मैं इसका भी मौक दे रहा हूँ ओके okay. नहीं तो देखो वैसे तो आप फ्रेशर हो आप हॉबीज बोल सकते हो ठीक है फ्रेशर तो okay, बोल देते हैं कि हॉबीज लेकिन पता ऐसी हॉबीज बोलो या तो जिनके लिए आप जवाब दे पाओ और बहुत ज्यादा भी बोलने की जरूरत नहीं एक दो बोल दो एक तो जवाब दे या किस कहीं पर आपने कहीं पर आपको प्राइज मिला है कुछ अचीवमेंट किया है कुछ ऐसा है हॉबीज में भी आ, मैम हॉबीज में तो नहीं वैसे मुझे एकेडमिकली मैम मुझे मैं अपने कॉलेज के टॉप वन टू थ्री में था तो वो मुझे वो तो आपने मेंशन कर ही दिया था ना कि आई एम अमंग द फर्स्ट थ्री और मैम जो हॉबीज में मैम जैसे जो भी इवेंट्स हुए थे जब मैं अपने फर्स्ट ईयर में था तो वहाँ काफी इवेंट्स में मैंने पार्टिसिपेट किया था तो उनमें मुझे प्राइज मिला था फर्स्ट ईयर बट 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 मैम वो कल्चरल काइंड ऑफ इवेंट्स थे मतलब टेक्निकल नहीं थे तो क्या हुआ वो तो ओवरऑल रेलेवेंट बस आपको जब आप आपको टेक्निक जब आपको पूछा जा रहा है ना कि सूटेबल कैसे हो तब आपने कल्चरल नहीं बोलना है वरना आपने इंट्रोडक्शन में कल्चरल का बोल देना है क्योंकि ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट देखा जाता है ना कि आप ओवरऑल कैसे परफॉर्म कर रहे हो तो वो आपको आगे कहीं नहीं मतलब आपको क्या हॉबीज क्या बोलोगे आप मैम वैसे तो मैम दो तीन मैंने जो मैम फर्स्टली मैंने वॉकिंग आउटडोर सोच रखा था एंड सेकेंडली मैम टीचिंग किड्स and thirdly ma'am listening music playing cricket and ma'am these basic things are itni sari mat bolo do bol do koi dhangi jisme aapko prize kisme mila tha ma'am wo to ek event tha jisme ma'am humne ek board construct kiya tha like usme thoda mechanical part tha thoda electrical part tha wo to aapka technical head mein aa gaya sara wo nahi wo bolne ki jaruri nahi kyunki aapka technical bhi aa gaya hua aapka ma'am is there uh, anything else that i can add you can just add that i have my interest in I I am uh, um, in my spare time I uh, like to do this or something like uh, uh, I am also interested in doing this जो भी आपकी hobbies है ना इस तरह का कुछ आप mention कर सकते हो इनमें ठीक है मैं सिंसियर और फ्रेशर यू कैन जैसे मैम मैंने स्टॉक मार्केट के बारे में थोड़ा पढ़ रखा है बट मैम अगर वहाँ पे cross question होगा तो मतलब नहीं 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 � हाँ मतलब मैंने अपने स्पेयर टाइम में वो सीखने के लिए मतलब स्टार्ट किया था नहीं नहीं जब तक जिस चीज की आपको नॉलेज नहीं ना उस चीज की उसको उसको मत बोलो ओके मैम ठीक है फाइन नाउ प्रिपेयर अलोंग दिस लाइंस ठीक है ओके यस मैम थैंक यू मैम ओके